Hello friends, welcome to the Little Coder channel. Today we are going to see how to deploy a static website on a Google Firebase platform. So what is a Firebase first? Google Firebase is a Google backend application development software that enables developers to build Android, iOS and web apps. Wide number of features that this service provides are listed down here. You can see on the site. It provides cloud Firestore and it provides authentication, hosting, the one which you are going to use, and Crashlytics. It gives reports about the crashes that we face on Firebase and different many more things. You can go over here. So let's dig into it more. Let's get jump into our video. In order to start with, first type in this URL on your browser, firebase.google.com, first of all. Uh, and after, if you don't have a Firebase account already, I would suggest you to sign up for a free account today and do the sign up for a free account then at the top right you can see a link go to console click on it that's going to redirect you to the project listing page so from here you can manage your project that you created in the cloud firebase cloud platform all the projects that you previously created are sh will show will shown up here you can see i don't have any project set up yet so let's create a new one today in order to do that create click create a project button here click on it it asks you a few questions, enter the details as per the question that, it, uh, that this step process asks. So here you need to provide in the project name that you wanted to have for this site. Uh, I'm going to be having Firebase Web App Portfolio. You can have any name as per your choice. After providing the name, accept these terms and conditions and click continue. Uh, if you wanted to read out all the de details that is listed down here, you can read. The details are saying Google Analytics is a free and unlimited service that enables testing, reporting in Firebase Clash, Analytics, and many more. As you can see, it is uh, it is default enable this feature, A/B testing, user segmentation, and crash reusers, and the rest you can see here. Uh, after going through these details, click Continue button. Here you need to select the location that you are currently having. So I'm going to be selecting India because I'm here in India. So I'm selecting in Indian uh, as the analytics location so accept the terms and conditions of the Google Analytics and uh, click the button create project the project will get created it takes a moment to create the project as you can see your uh, your project is live now click continue button to uh, click continue button this button will redirect you to this firebase dashboard uh, or else you can see a control panel of the firebase from here you can you can be able to manage or deploy your web apps through this control panel. At the left side, you can see the services are listed down here. I'm opening this build service. Under this, you can see there are many services that the Google Firebase has provided. So mostly we are, we are looking into the hosting service that we are going to use to host our static site. Okay, before that, as you can see, this is the dashboard or the control panel, uh, control panel, uh, dashboard of the control panel. Here, you can see, get started by adding a Firebase to your app. And it is asking if you have an Apple uh, app or Android uh, or a web app. So we are having a web app to deploy to this Firebase. So click on web because we have to upload, we have to register our app as a web app to the Firebase. So here you need to provide the app name. So register your app by providing the name of the app. I'm giving portfolio, portfolio hyphen app. You can give the name that you want and skip this option because we are going to manually set up this app. Okay, just click on register app button. Our app has got registered now. Now this code we need to, this step we need to follow in order to initialize the Firebase SDK to our project. Use npm or you can use a script tag. Uh, as you can see, npm install Firebase. So this command, this step we can use to install Firebase locally to your project, but we are skipping this. Um, I have an another option uh, because Firebase provides a command line interface for Windows. Through that, you can install Firebase globally to your system. To get Firebase for your system, you need to, uh, you need to have a Node.js installed in Windows. If you have a Windows, please make sure that you have installed Node.js on your system. So in order to check whether you have a Node.js or not, head over to your search bar and type in cmd and open the command prompt here and type in node hyphen v it gives the node version if you if you don't have a node installed on your system this is the site that you can refer to get that download and after downloading you can go with the manual installation process after installing it you can check the version of the node by typing this command 
so if you get the note then you can uh, you can continue with the command that i'm giving you here in order to this command install the firebase tools uh, globally to your system npm npm install hyphen g firebase hyphen tools hit enter through this command you can be able to install firebase globally to this machine i am able to installing this firebase tool to this machine globally you can use the same command to install the firebase tool on your system firebase cli command has got installed successfully now check firebase version by typing in the below command firebase hyphen b this command will give the information whether the firebase has got installed or not to your system sorry i think it is a capital v we need to type in hyphen capital v it gives the version of which uh, it gives the firebase version which we installed as you can see it is 11.15.0 okay now let me just minimize the screen and switch back to the firebase uh, this is the project setup that we uh, that we did la that we did the last step now uh, now continue to console click on this button continue to console this will create an app with the name that we provided as you can see the name firebase web app portfolio this app has got created now in order to check the uh, check its hosting or in order to manage it further click on hosting option from the left side of the menu here you can see here you need to if you are visiting this page for the first time it ask uh, click on get started button so this is the step that we did before because we have already did that so i'm skipping because we have already globally installed the firebase to our uh, to our project now uh, we have already did this click next step now initialize your project in order to initialize before initializing we need to sign in with the firebase first copy this command and open the command prompt again and paste it over here and hit enter this process will authenticate your account with firebase as you can see uh, i have already an account which is logged in to the firebase so previously i was testing with this email i'm going to log out this because i have another email id for, uh, to use because i have created a firebase project with another email id so let me just log out from this email sorry i need to type in firebase before the logout type in firebase and click enter the account will get logged out so we will log in with a new account now log out from this account now again i'm going to copy this command once again and pasting it over here firebase login now it will uh, it will redirect me to this browser uh, 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 it is uh, it will ask some question allow firebase cli emulator to use stage and error reporting information if you want it you can uh, uh, it will email the details to your email if you want it to keep it yes then click on yes button and hit enter and if you want it uh, if you wanted to skip that you can go you can skip that option so i have this option to go with um selecting this you can select the email id that uh, uh, with uh, from which you have created this uh, you have created this web app so click on allow button allow this service to use with the firebase as you can see the message we receive firebase cli login successfully switch back to this dashboard again now, uh, next step initialize your project run this command from your apps root directory copy this command now this is the app that i am going to deploy to the firebase i have already opened this app in a visual studio code so here it is saying initiate your project run this command from your app root directory so i have copied it let me just open a command from so make sure that you are under the project directory for which you wanted to deploy so i am under the root directory of this project so before that uh before uh, okay in order to initialize copy this command and come here to the command prompt of this project uh make sure that you should be under this directory and paste this uh and paste this command firebase init this command will initialize this directory with a firebase it asks some questions you are about to initialize a firebase project in this directory are you ready to proceed yes we are hit enter here now here it is asking for what different services that you are going to use for this app so which is going to be using in hosting service in order to select the hosting service 
select a service by pressing down arrow key. Uh, you can select the service by pressing up and down, down arrow keys of your keyboard. I'm selecting. Uh, I'm selecting this is the service. I'm selecting the third service, hosting. Uh, this is the service that we are going to use. So in order to select that, press space button and hit enter. Uh, again, it takes time. It takes some time. Uh, again, it is asking a question. Use an existing project or create a new project. So we are going to use and uh, we are going to use an existing project that we created. Click enter. So as you can see, all the existing project will get listed down here. So in the dashboard, we we a uh, few moments ago we created a project so we are going to select that project firebase web app portfolio select it and hit enter do you want it to use as your public directory public firebase locate all the files under this public directory yes we are going to keep the public directory name as public and configure as a single web page app or rewrite all urls to index.html uh, for this we are going to type in no because we can uh, we will be having multiple pages to redirect so we, are, we we don't have a single page application so i'm selecting no for this option and hit enter set up an automatic builds and deploys with github as of now i'm, I'm not selecting any one of this click no so as you can see the public folder has got created uh, in our project folder so it creates two files index.html and 404 so we are not going to use the index.html page which uh, which this Firebase created, I'm going to be deleting it because I have my own index.php file, index.html file to deploy here. So I'm going to be dragging this index.html file and wrapping over here. Move it. And everything I'm, uh, I'm dropping under public folder. You can see I have moved everything under the public folder now. Now the final step that you need to perform here, click next because we have done with both the step. The last command you have to type in Firebase deploy. Copy this command and paste it under the project directory project has got deployed successfully uh, it gives after deploying it gives two links one is the project console link and another is the hosting URL. I'm going to type, uh, I'm going to copy the hosting URL and let me just open this up in uh, my browser in order to check whether my website is live or not. Boom, you can see my website is live now on a Firebase. So now come back to this step and continue to console. Here in the dashboard, you will get the info after successful deployment. You can track the link, for, you can track the link from here. Uh, you can manage your, manage your app from here under the hosting uh, under the build you need to go to uh, you need to go to hosting this is the hosting dashboard you can see you can manage your web apps from here i hope this video uh, this video will be helpful for you in order to deploy your static site on a google free cloud based platform this is free uh, with no cost if you have a static site if you have a portfolio site to uh, to deploy on a hosting server then i would suggest you to go with the firebase in order to spend your money on a purchased servers or anywhere just go with this option thank you for watching this video i hope you like it if you like it please subscribe and click the bell icon to get the latest notification of all the videos that i'm going to be uploading and click the like button and please comment me in the below comment me in the comment section below if you have any questions or queries related to the hosting in the firebase thank you